Depending upon the type of car, replacing your intake manifold gasket is the sort of job that can be done at home, but there could be some things that you just need to watch out for. So the very first thing is you'll want to go ahead and jack up the car, and again, just making sure that that's secure. Then you want to go ahead and drain the coolant. Um, most of the cars run coolant through the intake manifold, so it will have to be drained before the, the manifold is removed. The very next step before we actually get in here and remove the intake manifold bolts is you need to go ahead and identify the hoses and wires that are connected to the manifold itself. Here you cannot see all of those but you will want to disconnect and tag every wire that is connected to the manifold itself. Then you can go ahead and get ready to remove the intake manifold. Now. Once you're doing that, there are a series of bolts that you'll need to go ahead and remove. So depending upon what, uh, what vehicle you have, it will determine as to what bolts or the different areas that need to be addressed when removing. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the bolts, the intake manifold bolt, with my socket. And once I've got those bolts removed, now it just tells me to go ahead and I can remove the intake manifold assembly. And that assembly then will have to possibly be pried from here where the gasket then lives. And we go ahead and we remove that, thereby leaving our starter, etc. Now when I go into my subcategories, I can then further break down and take a look at the intake manifold. So over here I have the throttle valve uh, assembly and I can remove that if needed but over here is where I will then be replacing the intake manifold gasket. I will need to have to make a tool to make sure that I can scrape all of the old existing gasket off and I may need some sealant to, to go ahead and seal uh, the new gasket on there before going ahead and reinstalling the intake manifold back on my engine once I have this gasket put in place. So today it's just been kind of an overview of how to go ahead uh, some of the symptoms of your intake manifold gasket going bad and the basic steps on how to remove the intake manifold to get to the gasket to replace it so that your engine performance can continue. Thank you.